Welcome back once again, everybody, to Podium Vehicle Reviews. Today, we got a crazy sports car, and this marks the last of my office garage, the Lampadati Kamada. This car, I actually forgot the price of it again. I forget the price of a lot of cars because they're not here for the longest time. But I do know this one, this is actually one of the first cars to be added to the Casino Heist update, so here it is. Has a normal price of one million seven hundred thousand, but you can get for a trade price of one million two hundred seventy-five thousand, or for free in this case because you know it's from the podium. And it's a four-door sports car, so nice to have some four-door in here. Everything in my garage up until this point has been two-door, so it's nice to have some four-door in here. Let's go through the customization of this thing, even though I've already maxed it out, kind of, except for the brakes because I ran out of money for that. Um, you got a bunch of bumper options. You got a whole bunch of them. Look at all these things. Look at all this customization. There's 13 bumper options for the front. There's about five. Yeah, there's five there. Uh, exhaust, you have five for those. 18 hoods. Look at all these hoods. Look at them all. What? <laughs> it's everything you ever want. Liveries, there's 11 of them. So... Ooh, I kind of like that, actually. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Army camo. I don't see it, but probably because the color I have on this car. Um, overall, though, I think this is the, probably the coolest one. <laughs> in terms of actually... I don't know. It just looks really cool. It reminds of the Geo livery from the VSTR. Three mirrors, a couple mud guards, like, or mud flaps, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm going to change my license plate to F your KDR because, really, F your KDR, no one cares about it. Uh, 12 roofs. And by the way, if you're those who don't know what KDR is, it's kill death ratio. But uh, 19 skirt options. You got 20, 25 spoiler options, which is insane. And oh, okay. Not even gonna acknowledge that here. Suspension. Oh, I didn't lower it. Okay. Uh. Oh, he goes up to a race transmission. That's all the customization. This car is ridiculous for customization. So now, <laughs> you guys have seen this thing's ridiculous customization. Let's go and take it outside, and let me show you guys the driving of this thing. Turn on our headlights. With <laughs> I love that license plate. Uh, I recently created that. But this car is an Alfa Romero, which is why the grill is so weird. But I think it actually makes it look pretty cool. It looks looks kind of like a killer. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should have put the license plate at killer for that reason. I don't know. But uh, it is a drifter. So, that's nice. It, it's kind of a drift car. It's in the sports class, and most sports class vehicles, like, especially this one, since, since this is also a rear-wheel drive. I know if you guys have watched my European Intensifies video, um, I used the Itali GTO for that. That was an all-wheel drive car. This is a rear-wheel drive car, and it's just as good for drifting as the Itali GTO. It's an insane vehicle. I hope we can get the cinematic. No, we didn't get the right one. Was that an inertia drift? <laughs> I don't even know. But, uh... Is it worth the win? You tell me. Do you like drifting? Do you like four-door sports cars? And do you like a bun bunch of customization? If you would answer yes to any of these questions, then please contact Lambadati Los Santos to order one today. Now that I'm done being a freaking commercial, yes, this is worth the win. Absolutely. The sports car got tons of customization. Customization through the roof. It's... A four-door sports car, so you can have a bunch of friends in this car. Maybe do a carpooling. Why not? <laughs> I don't know if anyone really does carpooling in GTA, but you know, it's got pretty good amount of speed on it. It's actually pretty quick. I think it's like the same speed as the Karuma, if not a little bit faster than it. So that's nice. Uh, you guys can put it. You guys can run the test. It's not going to be faster than the Pariah. All right, don't don't think of that. Don't think it's going to be faster than that thing because it's not. There's a lot of doors on this thing, though. Like, I'm not even just talking about the four doors. Like, look at all these doors. Look at all the doors. There's a lot of them. 
That's with that engine. I believe that's a V6, V8, something like that. I'm gonna say more of like a V8 than anything else, but it might be a V6. For the if anyone knows about Alfa Romeros, let me know in the comment section what kind of engine this thing would have in real life. Anyways, though, that's gonna be a full review on this thing. It drives really well. It feels great. It's rear-wheel drive. It has tons of customization. Like I said before, customization through the roof. It looks pretty nice. It has four doors. Not to mention it's in the sports class. So, you can use this in sports races. Anyways, though... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Awesome. Anyways, that's all I have to say about this thing. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.